Hey friends, I'm Sarah from Ensign Insights, and today I will be comparing metallic brush pens, specifically the Karen Markers metallic brush pens and the Kiritake Furubuyori brush pens. So the Kiritake looks like this. I got these on Amazon, so there is some Japanese writing on it. And they are really great. They're really inexpensive. And you can see that is what the nib looks like. And then the Karen is a little bit larger in the nib and they're called the deco brush they have the liquid ink inside and it is pigment so it will be permanent it won't fade in the sun i'm guessing that the kiritake is also pigment based but i don't know because it doesn't say so you can see that they are a little bit different in size but they're pretty close this is what the package of the Kiritake looks like. And I have the regular colors of Kiritake Furibori and I love them. So these are great markers. And then here is what the deco brush markers looks like. It comes in a really fancy tin. It has a whole little pamphlet about how to use them and how to store them. So it's really professional looking. They are definitely more expensive than the Kiritake so if you absolutely don't have it in your budget, the Kiritake is a great option, but I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Karen Markers did send these to me. They sent these and their mega box of regular colors of brush markers. And if you want to check out that video, I will link it here. But this video is not sponsored by them. This is my own opinion and I got some requests to compare the difference between these two metallic markers because a lot of people use the Kiritake markers, they are pretty common, and so people wanted to know which one was better. So here I'm going to do a little swatch of all of the colors and show you the difference on black paper versus white paper. These Karen markers, you do have to shake them before using them because you can see the pigment inside it kind of settles and so if you when you shake it it mixes it all up and they are really really juicy so it doesn't take a lot to get the ink flowing they look pretty similar on both papers I did notice that some of them weren't as juicy so the gold one and the copper one it was a little more transparent than the other ones just in the light strokes not in the down strokes but in the light strokes so and that is something i noticed of one of the colors in the kiritake and i will show you that in a little bit as well but the nib of these brush markers is amazing. It's so durable. With the Mega Box, I used one marker on watercolor paper and bad paper for a long time to try and wear it out, and it still didn't wear out after so many tries. And so I think these brush markers are amazing for their nib. And you can kind of see with the copper, it is not as intense as the other colors, especially in the upstrokes it's a little more transparent and the black is always really fun it takes some time to dry on the black paper and then it shows up pretty cool so i just wait for it to dry for a little bit so now with the kiritake furubayori brush markers like i said i have these in the regular colors as well and they are honestly the markers that I recommend the most for beginners because they are inexpensive. The nib is really great bounce and it's a great size, a medium to large size. It's really easy to control. The colors are always very vibrant and the metallics are just as good as the regular mark colors. I would definitely say that these ones are going to fray faster than the Karen markers, but they are so inexpensive that you could just replace them pretty easily. And with these ones, I did notice the red, it was having that same problem, that slightly transparent in the upstrokes. I don't know why certain colors do that. 
You'll also notice these ones are different colors. So this is a red instead of the Karen markers has a pink. So that is something too. If you're doing something for Christmas and you need a really strong red, then you're not going to find that in the Karen markers and you would want to get the Kiritake. But the rest of the colors are pretty similar. These ones, I have the six pack, I believe there are eight, but the cheap price of the set is the six pack from Amazon. So you can see the other colors are pretty similar. The Karen Markers has a wider range because they have 10 colors. They do have two silvers, so really it's only nine colors. But I prefer the colors of Karen Markers because I like the pink and the light green, the lighter blue. They're brighter and so for me normally I don't love metallic markers just because the colors are a little more deep but I love really bright colors and so for me the colors of Karen markers are better. So now I'm using them in quotes using all of the colors to show you how they all look together. So like I said, they are both really, really good metallic markers. The Karen markers feel a little more professional and higher end and they are more expensive, but I do feel like it is worth the cost if you are going to be using metallic markers a lot. If you don't have it in your budget, the Kiritake Furibuyori is a great alternative they both are very solid metallic colors. Metallic shows up very well on white and black paper. So I hope that helped you to decide which one you are going to get. If you have tried either of them, I would love to hear your opinion. Do you agree with me? Or is there something you would add? Which one do you want to try first? Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I've been making so many pen reviews lately and I am so glad that you are loving my reviews and you find them helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or specific pens that you do want to see. Give it a thumbs up if it helped and subscribe so you don't miss the next pen review and I will see you next time.